Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see KV class 6 sample question paper for term 2 session ending examination essay 2 question paper we are going to revise for science uh, paper so general instruction is given so two it consists of two sections all the questions are compulsory so the marks for each question is uh, uh, questions are indicated in brackets so before going through the question paper make sure you read all the definitions with the examples also um, draw and practice the diagrams which are given for science subjects which is very very important whenever a definition is asked make sure you write the example also draw diagram whenever necessary with parts so it is an added advantage and uh, whenever uh, the teacher sees your paper if your diagram is written then uh, there is a chance of giving full marks so let us see the first question plants in hilly areas have to bear high speed winds and cold which adaptation helps them best to face such conditions so you have many uh, answers for this you can give any one uh, any one option so like um, so the trees will be in cone shaped and uh, the leaves will be like needle shaped so these adaptations help the plants in hilly areas to bear high speed winds and cold so you can write cone shape so you can write cone shaped or needle like leaves the distance between kanchan's and shahana's house is 1500 meter this distance is equal to 1.5 kilometer give a suitable turn that expresses the meaning of the following statement an area where a lot of garbage is collected, spread out and covered with soil. So that is called as landfills. Landfills. I am writing down because you will remember during the exam. So next, from where do aquatic plants get oxygen for respiration? So oxygen dissolved in water. From this they get oxygen for respiration. So, you have to write oxygen dissolved in water. Dash is a process in which plants release water vapor. So, the answer is transpiration. Transpiration. Observe the picture and answer the questions. So, what is the picture? So, a person is climbing high mountains. Is called as mountaineries. So you have to write mountain E R S. So these people are called as mountaineers. Why do they carry oxygen? Because to breathe properly. So next differentiate between magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. So many times you will be getting differentiate, distinguish. So whenever you come across this word make sure you draw a tabular column and write down magnetic materials non-magnetic materials as a topic and write down the definition with the examples so the materials which uh, attract magnetic magnet is called as magnetic materials and materials uh, which does not attract magnet are called as non-magnetic materials you can give example next so our option is given so make sure you notice that and you can write any one from it. A toy car has a bar magnet laid hidden inside its body along its length. Using another magnet, how will you find out which pole of the magnet is facing the front of the car? So for this, use a magnet. So suppose if you are fa uh, facing the north pole towards the car. So if it is north uh, pole of the magnet is facing the front of the car, it will ripple each other so if it is south pole it will attract each other so based on the repulsion or attraction so you can find the pole of the magnet which is facing the front of the car so next what are the essential condition for the formation of shadows so what are the essential conditions you have to write two points there should be an opaque material opaque spelling is o p a q e 
okay then there should be a source of light and screen the object must be placed in the line of path i have given three conditions you can write any one condition mention one adaptation present in the following animals in camels to keep their body away from the heat of sand so camels have long so in frogs to able them to swim so you we have uh, frogs have webbed feet what is a habitat write down its components with example so habitat is a place where plants or animals live so the components uh, of habitat are shelter water food space air next question 12th question state the precautions which should be taken while using a meter scale to measure the length of an object like a computer monitor so 12th question so three precautions you have to uh, write so make sure you place the scale along with its length and the eyes should be perpendicular to the objects to avoid any parallax error so if the end of the scale is broken so make sure you place the uh, proper or end broken end uh, to the objects to mark the measurement next four children measure the length of a table which is about which was about 2 meter each one of them used different ways to measure it Sam measured it with a half meter long thread. Garmit measured it with a fifteen centimeter from her geometry box. Rina measured it with a hand span. Sally measured it with a five meter long measuring tape. Which one of them will be will get the most accurate length and why? So here, Sam, sorry, Sally measured it with a five meter long measuring tape because. which will give the accurate tip so this is this is long thread we you cannot uh, uh, measure so 15 cm geometry box that also we cannot measure because it is 2 meter and with the hand span it differs so it will not be accurate so salim measured it with the 5 meter long measuring tape is the correct answer next explain an activity with the diagram to show that light light travels in a straight line so for this So you have to have three or four car cardboards placed in a line. So make sure you have a hole here, which is straight, and place the cardboard straight. So light a candle here, and when you look the candle through the gaps of the hole present here, so you can see the candle. If you uh, adjust or if you, if you break one line, you cannot see the uh light so in this way you can explain that the light travels in a straight line so this is the diagram so you have to draw like this observe the given picture and answer the following questions so you have three marks for this in the above uh, circuit will the bulb light up so no give reason for your answer positive terminal is connected to another positive terminal so here positive terminal is connected to another positive terminal so the bulb will not glow next give reason for your answer what is the proper way of storing a bar magnet when it is not in use 15th question bar magnets should be stored in wooden containers so that they do not attract metals bar magnet should be stored in pairs that is the north pole of one magnet against the south pole of another magnet next 16th question what are the list the common characteristics of living beings so common characteristics include growth breathing excretion response movement and uh, stimulus all these are common characteristics so you for five marks you have to write minimum five points next c question although a car moves like animals yet it is not considered as a living organism explain car does not show any 
characteristics of living things such as uh, nutrition, respiration, reproduction. So it is not considered as living organisms. Next question. Mention two adaptive features of a lion that help it in hunting. A lion has brown body which helps it to hide itself in dry grassland for avoiding detection by its prey. So it detects its prey from a distance and knows the exact location of it because of its own eyes look located in front. Strong paws, sharp teeth and long claws help it to catch the prey. Strong Pass P A W S sharp teeth and long class C L A W S. So these features help it to uh, catch and kill its prey. First one is brown color body. Second point you can write it as the eyes, and third and uh, point you can write as strong pass, long uh, class, and sharp teeth. Next, 17th question. Ravi was riding his bicycle along a straight road. He classified the motion of various parts of the circle as rectilinear motion, circular motion, both rectilinear and circular motion. So, can you list one part of the bicycle for which type of motion? Support your answer with reasons. So, for you have to write the part which is having this type of motion and you have to explain. So for rectilinear motion, you can write motion of the entire body of this bicycle and you have to explain. Circular motion, the pedals of the cycle are spokes of the tire. So since it is moving in a circular mo motion, it is uh, referred as circular motion, you have to explain. Both rectilinear and uh, circular motion, the answer is tires of the cycle. Next. Next, we have CCT questions. So, here a picture is given. So, you have to answer from the picture. So, 18th question. What does the above figure show? So, it shows that oxygen is required for oxygen is required for burning. Does the level of the water inside the glass remain say? If not, why? No, as the oxygen is used up and the space in the tube is occupied by water. Hence, the water level inside the glass is not same. Can burning take place in the absence of oxygen? No, you need oxygen for taking place of the burning process. Next, 19th question. Read the following extract and answer the question in short. So, garbage collected from houses should be dumped in landfills. Which of the following waste cannot be added in the process of making vermicompost? So, laminated paper. paper. Name two waste materials which can be recycled. You can write any two waste materials like paper or cow dung or vegetable waste. So, you can write on your own. What happens when paints and oils are, pour, are poured down the drain? So, they clog the drain and kill the microorganisms that decompose the waste materials. So, here a picture is given. You have to answer from seeing the question uh, diagram. So, why it is essential to conserve water? Because water is essential for life. Suggest three ways in which you can conserve water in your home. So, you can write any three ways like uh, rainwater harvesting or wells. Next question. In which process water changes into vapor in atmosphere? We have options here. The exact one is evaporation. So, the answer here is uh, evaporation is the answer. 
So this is a sample question paper. So the maximum marks here is 40 marks. The time is 1.5 hours. That is 90 minutes. So after going through the ex exam, just uh, comment here if this question paper was helpful in uh, approaching the science paper. So we'll see in the next video. Thanks for watching.